Hello, my friends. I am Muhammad Ibrahim. I will give you some information about the Resonance Academy Delegate Gathering and Bath of the Nile Tour, October 2017. For the Resonance Academy Delegate Gathering, which will start from October 1st till October 8th, 2017, day one, Sunday, October 1st. This is the day we expect you to arrive to Cairo Airport. And for the people who will arrive earlier, they will have the same procedures we are going to talk about. Upon arrival, you will find one of our assistants from Doha Travel Agency. He will be holding a sign with the logo of Resonance Academy. He will help you to go through the formalities and to obtain your entry visa to Egypt. Then he will lead you to the car, which will take you to Lumeridian Hotel, where you will find your room ready for you. From 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., this is our orientation meeting. You will find a sign leading to the meeting room. We will have the meeting, and then we will move for uh, our welcome dinner at the main restaurant at the hotel. And uh, we will have always a special section to our group. Dinner at that day is included. Day two, Monday, October 2nd. We will have breakfast from 7 to 8. If you want to go earlier, no problem. The restaurant will be ready from 5.30 a.m. And um, they always serve the food in uh, a buffet uh, breakfast. Also, uh, dinner will be buffet. I think all our meals will be in a buffet style. So from 7 to 8, it will be our breakfast included. At 8 o'clock in the morning, we are going to leave the hotel with four buses to Giza Plateau. In each bus, we will have a tour guide. Uh, we recommend you to bring your camera and to bring um, your hat because we will be uh, under the sun for most of the visit. Um, we will visit the Great Pyramid and the surrounding area of the Great Pyramid. Of course, we will talk about the Great Pyramid and the possibility of the ancient Egyptian lost technology. And then we will head to the third pyramid. We will see the blocks of granite in the surrounding area. And we will uh, visit what we call it the uh, panorama uh, area. It's a higher cliff behind Giza Plateau where we can see all the three pyramids in one picture. And it will be your opportunity to ride a camel if you want. And then we will leave, we will leave Giza Plateau. We will have the opportunity to visit one of the uh, places. Uh, we call it the uh, Papyrus Institute. We will have a lecture, quick lecture, about how they uh, make the uh, papyrus with the same style of the ancient Egyptians. And there will be an opportunity if you want to buy some. Then we will head to the hotel where you will have lunch will be included. Lunch will be from uh, at the Hotel Lumeridian will be from 1 to 2 p.m. And from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. educational uh, session. And from 7 to 8 p.m. it will be dinner that is not included. And 8.30 to 10 p.m. introduction to the ARC crystals. Day three, Tuesday, October 3rd, we are going to visit a very important site. Of course, breakfast from 7 to 8. And I think this is, will be the case most of the days. And always breakfast is included, a buffet style. 8 o'clock, we will leave the hotel to visit Saqqara. In Saqqara, we are going to visit the famous step pyramid. And they relate the pyramid to King Zoser. We are going to talk about this. And after visiting the complex of the, of the step pyramid, we are going to visit the uh, newly opened Ones pyramid, where we are going to see the uh, first uh, texts, what we call it the first pyramid texts. After visiting Ones, we are going to visit a very, very unique 
site in Saqqara, the Sarapium, that underground tunnel which contains around 24 giant boxes from different types of uh, stones, but mainly granite. And after the Serapium, we may visit one or two tombs in the area. After visiting Saqqara, we will have lunch in a very, very nice place, a resort in uh, Saqqara called Saqqara Balm Club. And we also will have a lecture about the, uh, in one of the, um, uh, of the schools there, we call it Carpet School, where they will give us, uh, or they will show us how they make handmade carpets. And then we will go back to the hotel. Uh, dinner will be ready from 7 to 9 p.m., which is not included. And from 9 p.m. to midnight, evening talk story with Nassim at the meeting room. Day four, Wednesday, October 4th. Again, the same story from seven to eight breakfast. And eight o'clock, we, uh, from eight to 11 a.m., we have educational session. And at uh, 12, uh, 12 o'clock noon time to 7 p.m., we will have excursion with a very special private permission to Abu Sir and Abu Jurab. We will go first for lunch, and then we will drive to Abu Sir. Abu Sir is an, a very uh, interesting area, and by the way, it is closed for public visits. We only visit it with a special uh, permission, Abu Sir and Abu Jarab. So the area, according to mainstream history, related to the fifth dynasty, and there are three major pyramids in the area. In Abu Jarab, we are going to see the giant base of uh, a giant obelisk. Unfortunately, we do have the base, only the obelisk disappeared, but we are sure that the obelisk was made out of rose granite from Aswan, which is almost 1,000 kilometers south of Cairo. And we are going to see a unique design of what we call it Hotib. Hotib is a geometrical shape like uh, a, big, a big rectangular with an angle in the middle. But in this case, with Abu Jarab, we are going to see this shape was repeated four times, creating like a huge square with a circle in the middle. Made out of alabaster, we are going to enjoy our time much in uh, Abu Sir and Abu Jarab. And we are going to witness the area during the daylight and uh, we will witness the place. We will see some set from there, which will be a kind of uh, dramatic uh, disappearance to the solar disk in the, while we are in the area. And then we will head back to the hotel. We will have uh, dinner from uh, seven, okay, which is not included. Day five, from seven to eight breakfast, and from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., special guest speakers will uh, talk in the meeting room. And from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., it will be lunch at the hotel included. And from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., group preparation and exercises, and 7 p.m., open dinner not included but from 4 p.m the first group will be ready to leave the hotel for uh, the private visit to the great pyramid and we are going to spend two hours in each pyramid so the first group will be from four to six in the great pyramid from six to eight p.m in the second pyramid from 8 to 10 p.m. in the third pyramid. And group two will be ready from six o'clock to go to the first pyramid. And group three will be ready at eight o'clock p.m. Uh, to go to the first pyramid. And group four will be ready from, eight, from 10 o'clock p.m. to go to the great pyramid. And after they finish 
each one they move to the other one. That day will be the full moon day and I believe the energy will be very, very high. And we will provide uh, each group inside the bus with plenty of uh, fresh fruits and water. Day six, Friday, October, October 6. From seven, breakfast will be open from seven to a, uh, from 10 a.m. Free morning and open lunch. And again, lunch is not included. From 1 p.m. to 6 p.m., afternoon delegate training. And at six o'clock, we move to our journey in uh, Islamic Cairo, 1,000 years old. We will have uh, lunch outside. We uh, will have uh, lunch in a dinner cruise, sailing on the Nile for two hours. And then we will have a drive in the ancient or the historical, Islamic historical sites of Cairo. Day seven, Saturday, October 7th, for again from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. breakfast. And from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., our second visit to Giza Plateau, but this time we are going to visit other locations in Giza Plateau. We will visit the area around the second pyramid, which is, uh, contains so many uh, evidences of advanced technology of ancient Egypt. And we will move to, uh, we'll drive to the Valley Temple and the Sphinx enclosure. And we will listen to stories about the Sphinx. And if the Sphinx was originally uh, look like what we see in pictures now, or it was uh, another shape and was reshaped during uh, King Kefren time. And then we move to lunch and we head back to the hotel for farewell dinner. And uh, the following day, Day 8, Sunday, October 8th, people who will attend the uh, delegate gathering only will 